What's going on guys? Welcome to Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. This is the hardcore sniper fan's wet dream. This is like the greatest game for anybody that likes to take long range snipes in any video games. This gives you that satisfaction over and over and over. I may be horrible at this game, but it is so much fun, which it speaks a testament really. Stealth is not my forte and I tend to mess that up quite often. So luckily when you mess that up, you can just gun people down. You can be loud and proud if you want to. But if you're really good, you could choose for the bow and arrow, which makes things a lot easier. Or, of course, you can take them out from over a kilometer away through a car window after you just blew up the gate to get them stuck inside. It's just so specific. And that's what I think makes this game a gem for sure. This video is sponsored by the people over at Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. Thank you so much. If you guys want to download the game or find any more information on it, there is a link down below. Like I was mentioning before, this game really has a concentration on doing things however you want. Loud, stealthy, or from afar, you can do it all. Not to mention there's a ton of upgrades, a bunch of skills that'll cater to however you want to play. And my choice was to uh, be super stealthy and get everything perfectly complete without ever being spotted. And I had a 0% success rate on that front. And you guys will see that in the upcoming gameplay right now. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you in it. So, I've already made my way over to the sniper outlook of the second target on this current region. And uh, we beat our way up using a nice little bow like you guys saw in the intro. And of course, we've upgraded our weapons a little bit more because we've taken out uh, a whole bunch of enemies and unlocked a ton of money. But I've found my way to the second target's location. And we're going to do this together. And then we're going to work our way over to the last target in this region. And... Uh, ultimately complete the region i'm pretty uh excited this game is awesome i've been uh, knee deep for about an hour and a half two hours now just kind of like ooing and awing over everything the game is so beautiful i have like a, a small inkling inside my body that just really enjoys hardcore shooters that's why uh i always love to mix in some daisy every once in a while with uh, my survival games because just getting a Mosin headshot from like a really long range is like one of the most satisfying feelings and this game hits that feeling over and over and over i'm horrible at stealth but uh i try my best in this game i can aim and this game is truly about aiming although i am playing on the newbie difficulty because gosh i i don't think i could mentally figure out how to hit a thousand meter headshot based on the wind and the range and the environment the bullet is traveling through it's just i can't do that so that's why we use this little uh, white dot thing that'll ultimately tell us where to shoot so you see this yellow dot popping up on the screen if that turns red that's a kill shot this is our current target in orange right there Okay, so we could hit the car lift control box, and that will make him stand still for a second. So let's line that up. Actually, let's shoot this one. Line that up. They're not going to know where this came from, because we're so far away. They're just going to think that the box shorted out. He's going to get a little scared. He's going to stand still, which is a sniper's wet dream. Oof, I shot the wrong guy. Not that time, though. <laughs> I, I overshot that a little bit, and I hit the guy behind him, but that guy doesn't have a skull anymore, so mission accomplished. I'll tell you that. They probably know where I am now, so I need to get the heck out of here. Luckily, I just cleared my backside, so I can escape right out this way, and I can also uh, swap out all my weapons every time we get out. Obviously, there's better ways to do that, and there's probably, I'm not even exaggerating, an infinite number of ways we could have taken out that target. This is just the way that I chose to do. Sometimes you just need to take the shot and get out. So that's what we did, and satisfying as always. All right, so now we have to eliminate Colonel Foydor no no Novikov. Oh, gosh. So that's going to be the last target and then of course we have to sabotage the antennas so now that we've turned in the mission we actually got a crap ton more money which we can use to upgrade our weapons with new attachments buy new weapons uh there's a whole skill tree to go into that'll be 
catered to one of your three play styles. If you're a running gun or if you're a super stealth or if you're a long range sniper, you can pick all the different skills and whatnot that fit your play style. That's something that they're definitely heavily emphasizing on this game is that it is catered to however you like to play a shooter. But we're going to make our way over to the last target. We just got to give a peep at our map and make sure we're working the right way. So he's somewhere in this region. I assume we get there probably through some type of tunnel or cave system, or I went swimming before to get into this area. So it's going to be a little bit of adventure. And of course, along the way, there are other enemies that are guarding the areas that you need to assess as quickly as you possibly can using all the different gadgets and things you can buy. The problem is now that we've been loud and proud on that mission and we still have one more target in the current region, uh, we have alerted all enemies that I am here. So they're scrambling a little differently. Their locations are not going to be as specific and they're going to be a lot more alert. So you have to be extra careful after doing what I just did. But things do begin to kind of settle down as they realize they can't find me because I am a shadow. That's what I am. All these missions are off the books according to the story. So there is story and there is some pieces behind it that you can follow on top of the outrageously awesome gameplay, which I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stab this guy real quick, just cause he looks like he likes stabbing. Here we go. Goodbye. And of course the bow and arrow is my favorite stealth weapon in the entire game because we can just do things like this. We hit him kind of like probably there. Yep. You ain't getting up from that, buddy. And then uh, Palio over here also just gets one to the back of the neck real quick. And uh, we just keep moving leisurely through this tunnel. But this is really what I like about this. Is this is like a one man army thing. This is a one sniper rifle wheeled in operative who is just 1v 200 ing like there's just like so many enemies for me to take out and on the higher difficulties you die like realistically it's almost like one or two shots and you're down and out so obviously playing on an easier mode makes things a little easier but if you mess up it's raven it's major they'll call in mortar strikes on you you ain't walking away from that i'll tell you that this guy's a little stinky so you get rid of him first and now we're set up into our next All that comes sniper we'll rifle power. position. Plenty of possible targets. So what do we have here? To get him out. Got a boy here. All that comes equipment will draw a okay. All right, Plenty we've seen some power. I might do it. We got to take out the comms equipment. I believe the colonel is also here. So Roger. we're going to have to take out Good them. Luck. That guy was sitting Raven. down. Oh, he God. Both Almost didn't see him. We got to find the snipers, too. There's one. So if we severely mess up a shot or set the alarms off. The snipers are gonna be the biggest problem for us. Obviously mortars as well. Um, not immediately seeing you can any mortars. So we should be side, fine. One, 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 two, but there is a ton of power side, transformers, which is assumed to take out the antennas. And once the antennas are taken out, I assume we're gonna be able to flush no power, him out because no I think he's inside. I don't see him. I'm almost certain he's supposed to... Oh, there's a guy right here. I'm almost certain we're supposed to see him here. And I don't see him. Helicopter there. That's a sick helicopter. All right. Well, let's just take out the comms. Uh, I don't know how much this is going to alert them. There we go. All right. We got the orange dot set up. So this would take out that power control. And then we need to swing right and take out the other one. Are these guys going to be alarmed by this? Let's see. We'll definitely... They noticed it because it made it a huge like explosion. First antenna. First antenna's down. Should, should be coming out now because the antennas are down. One of the antennas is completely powered down. Oh. We're going to take out all of them. Screw it. Right in front of that guy's face. The second antenna is down. They're both We're taken out. Yeah. Contract complete, but now this guy needs we to be need to coming out here soon. Another antenna went down. There it is. This has to be a big issue. We can't afford to have Aha. any issues at this point. Fix it. All right, antennas are taken out. We didn't raise the alarms. People are just like, oh, duh, what happened? Because like I said before, they don't see these rain shots, man, or hear them. They don't know where they're coming from. Sound just does not travel that far. 
But now we need to keep an eye out for the baddie. He's not coming out, huh? This should draw him out, though. There's a guy. Oh, is that him right there? That's him. All right. Where are you going to go? Hmm. If he walks past an explosive barrel, we could shoot that. Oh, he's going up top, huh? And then inside. Let me see what I can figure out. Without raising the alarm. Yeah, we need to make sure we have a clean shot. All right, his his beret behind him is staying, but the colonel keeps walking. Where is he headed? Oh, we got two targets on the roof now, too. Is he headed to the roof? I hope not. Oh, he's headed inside the building. He's alone right now. This is the shot. I need him to stop moving. Don't tell me that pulls in the... Oh, my God. Armored shutters? No shot. Lost visual on the primary. Crap. Someone closed the shutters. Where's the shutter control? Somewhere. I don't have any blueprints. Right here, shutter control. That's gotta be it. Wait. Shutter control should be off now. That should have hit. And then we put a shot right through the heart. And you are too late. You gave love a bad name. Okay. There's nothing left of you. You don't exist. That's it. Nobody knows he's dead because he died inside. Confirmed. Novikov is eliminated. See you later, Novikov. Now we just need to get to extract. And we have the mission accomplished, just like that. So, thank you guys for stopping by this episode of Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2. This is just an extremely fun game. I highly recommend it. And uh, every time I need that satisfaction of that long-range headshot with the sniper rifle, this will 100% be my go-to game. Probably even pop this on on stream for a couple of sessions and complete some of the harder missions later on. All different environments, a bunch of different regions to explore to, and not to mention upgrades. I want to suppress sniper rifle just so I can do sniping all the time. But again, we'll see you at another time, at another date. I appreciate it. Go check out the link down below. And I'm proud. That was, a, that was good. I did a lot better than I expected to. Peace out, guys.